What's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your girl, Miss Honey. I'm here to do the I Prefer Tag Challenge. Shout out to James Caldwell, who birthed this idea. He is definitely an idea man. If you guys do not follow James Caldwell, which I just think is just, I'm not really sure how that's happening. But um, he does reviews. He does some social commentary. Um, but for me, James Caldwell is come through, cookie. <laughs> I love, love, love his intro, okay? Let's talk about drag in all its forms. Uh, he is a whatever the opposite of a seamstress is for males. That's what he is. He sews. He does his own garments. He's an author. He has like three books out there. Um, are really really great reads. He has. Um, he makes his own jewelry. Um, you know, he's just a well-rounded individual. Um, James Caldwell is a gatherer. You know what I'm saying? He'll pull them edges, but he very tender hearted, very kind, kind um individual, you know. I can see it. <laughs> I see you, James. Um and of course his alter ego is my very, very best friend in the world, and that is Malone Treasure. He is a drag performer. If you guys have not seen snippets of his performances out there on IG, check them out. It really is truly amazing. Like if you follow James Caldwell and you've ever met Milan Treasure, you will get a sense or an idea of just the type of talent and creativity it takes to be a performer. Um yeah so that's james caldwell well james caldwell started this i prefer tag and it's two items you got to pick between that you prefer well listen he tagged lady nika now if y'all been out here on youtube for any amount of time y'all remember they kind of fell out a little bit you know what i'm saying it was some things that went on we ain't gonna talk about it it's water under the bridge but all i'm gonna say is if you don't believe in prayer huh look at this situation here james caldwell has tagged lady nika and that my friend listen but anyway shout out to james caldwell um it, it's an olive branch i love it I think it's great. I think we are all better together than we are apart. No matter how limited we are, I think it is good for black folks to get along. Okay? So I'm happy about it. Anywho, the thing about these tag videos is, especially if you don't jump right on it, you don't jump right on the challenge, then you run out of people to tag because these real real big youtubers people like um for its rocks and all that they got a schedule for i've never seen for its rocks break her schedule for a uh tag video plus we coming off the cusp of mama ruby's passing and y'all know for its rocks gets a little sad around that time so you know ain't no sense you tagging people like that bondy blue bondy blue running four and five businesses out this mug okay she doing credit repair um Oh me oh da 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 you won't regret it <laughs> She got four or five businesses out this mug and she just quit her job ain't no sense y'all tagging her but in the smaller YouTube community okay you know you always got a community inside a community like we all small YouTubers compared to PewDiePie that jack hole um who got millions and millions of subscribers but people like the Scorpion show, all of that, I've never seen them do tags because they have, you know, 50,000 plus subscribers, most of them. And, you know, they got a set schedule. They don't do all these tags. But it is an opportunity for the smaller YouTubes, the smaller, smaller YouTubes, you know what I'm saying, a community inside a community. You got your smaller, smaller YouTubes, people with like 2,500, 25,000, you know what I'm saying, just a smaller, smaller, smaller group of people. 
um, it, this is a great opportunity. Um, and thank goodness for James for proposing this challenge for us to network, for our subbies to get to know each other, for us to get to know our subbies, um, for us to get to know YouTubers that we had not discovered yet, we don't know. And so when you start a tag a little bit later in the tag, it's a little harder because you gotta really, really push yourself to tag somebody else, okay? But I got my list, I got my list, okay. First person to ever tag me in a video was um, beautiful soul, beautiful soul tagged me in a video. And ever since then, I, I've loved, I mean, I've all, I always loved her. Do she tag me? Cause I follow her and she followed me and she found out I was a YouTuber and that type of thing, you know? Um, but it was the, it was the start of a, a really, really great, um, friendship. She's my YouTube sister and I love her a lot. So that's a little known fact, little nostalgia, and it tells you a little bit about the benefit of doing tag videos. So if you get tagged in this video or any other video, do the video, okay? It's fun. It's a good way to network. Let's move forward. All right. Okay, first question is in the I prefer tag video challenge is car or SUV? I prefer SUV. I'm a bit of a hauler. I, I like to... uh do a little bit of um thrift shopping if i see something on the side of the road i think it's nice i like it i get it i've got a beautiful set of lamps that i got off the side of a road work perfectly work beautifully um back in the day i used to be an avid avid um yard sale estate sale goer uh and a suv is the way to roll in my opinion plus um you know, I like to feel important. I like to sit high <laughs> above them. Anywho, um, chicken or fish. I love a good crispy fried wing, seasoned well. Just the old nasty fried wing. Yes, it will deliver you from evil. But baby, if you want to talk about flavor profiles and, and, and handling sauces beautifully, uh... That it, it can have a buttery smooth texture or it could it could be everything you need down in your sanctified soul a piece of fried fish i love fish i love fish now, i ain't talking about white fish i ain't talking about tilapia okay i'm not talking about that i'm talking about if you get you a good piece of fried whiting or perch um they don't really you don't really see a lot of fish with the bones in it anymore but coming up as a child we we ate fish right off the bone you know, you ate it with a little piece of white bread, so you, <laughs> so you didn't choke to death on them bones. But anywho, yeah, I grew up off shell cracker, bluegill. Y'all don't know nothing all about all that because those are fish that you can't necessarily fillet. They're, they're fish that, you know, are the size of your hand or smaller, but it's good eating, especially if you boil you a pot of creamy grits. Hmm. Mm-mm. You don't want to talk about that. So, yeah, fish is my preference if I had to choose. But I don't mess with that tilapia. No, 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 no. You ain't going to make me no fish in a, in a lab somewhere. I want a fish that was swimming. <laughs> I don't want no farm-raised fish. Y'all ever wonder why tilapia fillets are all the same size? If you get a tilapia fillet here in Georgia, and you get a tilapia fillet, fillet in in milwaukee it's the same doggone shape same doggone shape i don't know why people don't question it but okay um son or daughter i feel like a daughter is expensive i know boys can be in sports and things like that y'all know i don't have no kids but you know boys can be in sports and things like that that can be pricey y'all know they make money off of them them tournaments and you know but girls between periods and fashion trends and getting their hair done and earrings and and pumps and flats girls can be expensive they can be very expensive i know boys can run you up there too because they like their tennis shoes and things of that nature but girls can be expensive out the gates plus i don't like a lot of talk back i don't like a lot of lip i don't like a lot of smart mouth okay i don't, I don't need all that and girls come with all that it come with a vagina anyway poops or studs i think you have to be a little bit more creative uh, me 
I, I, one of my hobbies is making jewelry. I do bracelets and I'm, I've started toying with, um, earrings and things like that. You know, just, just making my own stuff. I, I, I like a, I, I like a smaller earring. I've been getting into button size earrings. You know, they were very, very popular back in the day. Women would wear little, little button size earrings with different prints and patterns on it. I think those are fun. I, I like a smaller earring and I think, um, uh, you know, it's easier with long hair. It's a lot of reasons to wear a stud. So I, I'll say a stud. I prefer a stud. I feel like anybody can rock a hoop. Um, satin or velvet, please let's not, let's not do satin. When I tell you satin will have between your titties sweating so bad, okay? And don't put it on the bottom. Don't put it on the bottom, baby. Do not put it on the bottom because your vagina will smell like an armpit. Satin is hot as hell. No. No. Velvet. Okay? Velvet. I don't want no sheets, no pillowcases, nothing that's satin. I rather have velvet. It's just me. Uh, let's see here. Date or run through? Well, if you go on, if you don't go on a date, how you know they're gonna be a good run through? You know what I'm saying? My how my moisture levels work is I got the I got to smell your neck. Like I got to I got to see what you're working with. I got to see what your nails look like. I got to see if your car is clean. You know what I'm saying? I got to hear some conversation. Do you pray over your food? Is it an elementary pair? Like God is good. God is great. Or are you saying, Lord, I thank you for this food that we're about to receive. I ask you to sanctify it and purify it and make it nourishing to our bodies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Or are you, like I said, God is good, God is great. That's like a six-year-old. Like, I want to see what you're working with, what you're doing. Do you pray? Do you have a joke to tell? Like, this is how my moisture level work. So, if we don't never go on a date, we ain't going to ever get to the run-through part. I prefer, of course, a date. Like, yeah, how am I going to know if you're going to be a decent run-through if I don't take you, you don't take me out to eat? <laughs> uh, anywho. Lick or stick? Again, I'm not sure if this is a um. No, no, it can't be a sexuality question because you can lick a stick either way. Anyway, okay, I think y'all talking about licking or sticking. Again, if you ain't licking, how we ever gonna get to sticking? I need to know your investment level. Okay, I need to know your investment level. What you working with? What we talking about? What we talking about? Huh? Is you scared or not? All right. If you ain't if you ain't licking, then we can't even talk about sticking. Why why discuss it? Okay. So then, what else? Basketball or football? I I don't like all that rough housing, all that jumping on top of and tackling and knocking people down at a high rate of speed. I don't like all that. I feel like I can get a good assessment of well, a well, man's stamina from from basketball. Plus, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you can see some, some features and some things, some packages, some cabooses, some shapes of some things, honestly, it's going to be in, in, in basketball. I don't know what's behind them cups in football, but I'm going to tell you right now in basketball, if there's a flop or a drop, your girl Miss Honey has seen it. Y'all know I'm a notorious crotch watcher. I prefer basketball for that reason. I do. Plus, you know, in basketball, you got your tall boys. Okay, big feet, big hands, big salaries. <laughs> Ooh, she's so messy. Hip hop or R and B? I would say R and B. I feel like some R and B, um, you can bop to, you can snap your fingers to. You know what I'm saying? Like you can get real cute with it. You can bring it up with a fast swirl. You know what I mean? And you can nourish your soul with R&B. Like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Hip-hop can be a little bit of a one-trick pony. But baby, that R&B. Huh, T? Slow dance or fast dance. Again, if you... How you gonna be a run-through if I don't see what your grind is like? I grew up in the era of hunching and grinding. Okay, and back in the day, you dance, you could dance with anybody you wanted to, but you only slow dance with the person that you was feeling like that. A guy only asked you to slow dance. That's a girl he really, really wanted to be with like that. That's who he asked to slow dance. 
I love a good slow dance, okay? You can tell a lot about a person's rhythm through a slow dance. And I'm all about breaking this situation down. Like, how is we going to move forward? Is you worth moving forward with? You know what I'm saying? I need to slow dance with you. I need to grind up on your belt buckle a little bit before I know. Don't judge. Ballad or bop. Now, that's the same thing as hip-hop or R&B in my mind. But listen, comprehension is not necessary for cooperation. Let's cooperate, okay? You want me to answer, do I like ballad or bop? Well, I grew up in the Whitney Houston era, so of course I like ballads. Okay, some of the greatest, most moving songs Beyonce ever did was a ballad. You know what I'm saying? Now, I have burned many a treadmill up on that album, Crazy in Love. But I promise you, you pull a ballad off of that Joker. Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. Come on, come through ballad. Deborah Cox, huh? Ooh, Tina Marie. Ballad. Ballad, bitch. Ballad. Yeah, I guess I answered that question. Um, let's talk about short hair, long hair. Here's the thing. I had old nasty, straight, sanctified bob for many, many years, okay? Um, down on one side, <laughs> feather to the back, and swoop behind the ear many, many years. Um, I've had a really, really short do. My mama think I look a little younger with a short do. But a short do is a lot of maintenance, okay? Although some of my... Some of my um, biggest comments that I've gotten are off short units that I've worn. But at the end of the day, I prefer longer hair. Why? Because I can pull it back. I can pull it up. I can pin it. To me, um, longer hair is a little bit more versatile. And I'm really, really into natural hair right now. Long dreads, uh, different colors. I'm into that. Like I just think uh, creative-wise, long hair is can be a lot more uh, useful is my opinion uh, let's see what else uh, it says horror or sci-fi I'm not easily frightened I'm just not like I know it, there's no ghost there's no such thing as a ghost you know what I'm saying and uh, the only thing I'm not into is like you're not you just finna shoot somebody in the eye like what the hell what's the point I, I don't I just I'm y'all know if y'all watch my reviews y'all know I'm not really a person that you can you can do horror with because I'll be done pick that thing apart until there's no need of y'all even trying to call it horror like why is we scared why is we scared this is not true like no I'm big into sci-fi because sci-fi is about costuming it's about um graphic design i love to see people come up with different types of space aliens that was one of the things i loved about buck rogers in the 21st century okay was when you when he walked through the different stations it was different creatures there um you know just you, you, i don't know just it's just creative like you can see the creative thought process behind the costuming and the makeup sci-fi for me is where it's at it it allows the creative juices to flow a lot more in sci-fi i love 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 aliens and coming up with different looks for aliens and costuming and yeah I'm big into sci-fi. And I'm a, I'm a Star Trek girl. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with Star Trek. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Drama or comedy. Um, coming up, comedy was on every day, all day. When you got home, you could catch up on um, Leave it to Beaver. You could catch up on... Um, uh, Mork and Mindy. Later on, you could catch up with... Uh, you know, it, right now everybody's talking about Living Single and um, Golden Girls, more and Mindy, um, Perfect Strangers. Comedies was on every day, all day. But the one time everybody gathered, the one time nobody called was when Dallas, a dynasty of Falcon Crest was on. It's one of the reasons why I love drama. So drama for me, um, scripted or reality. I prefer scripted. I feel like reality forces people to try too hard and do things that they would not really do in their real life, in their reality life. 
Um, so for me, I just prefer scripted. I think um, scripted is a little bit more poignant. It's a little bit more authentic in terms of, I know it could be fictional scripts, but at the same time, you can teach values and um you know life lessons through scripted and that's not necessarily something you get with um reality tv they too busy fighting you know in empty clubs and stuff and throwing plastic cups of water at each other like whatever um okay so that was the last question who are you tagging now like i said most of the people um that I watch regularly all the time, 100% from day one have already been tagged. So the, the people that I'm going to tag are some newer people that I just started watching and I follow on IG. Um, some of them I've been watching for a little while, but I haven't heard anyone tag them. Jay Lee's Corner. Uh, I love Jay Lee. I don't know how Jay Lee work a full-time job and do 25 reviews a day, but somehow she makes it work. And um, she's very, very entertaining. What I love about Jay Lee is Jay Lee is confident. Um, she's a smart girl. She's quick with it, and um, she has a no nonsense way about her. But she's fair. Okay. Uh, Phone Jones. Phone Jones does not do TV reviews, but Phone Jones does product reviews. Phone Jones does a lot of family, community commentary. That's one thing I love about Phone Jones is. Um, she's a wife and a mom, but she's also Fojo. You know what I'm saying? Like she got her own likes, dislikes, personality, her things, her thing is glasses. She loves mermaids. She does crafting, DIY. She does youth, um, Dollar Tree hauls and uh, Michaels and Tay's Way, T-A-Y-Z, W-A-Y. I like Tay's Way. Um, Tay's Way is funny. She is um, entertaining. She's a woman that loves women. Um, she's a beautiful girl. She's very authentic. And what I love the most about Tay's Way is she's a very transparent person. I, and I'll link everybody down below. Um, and last but not least, Sunshine Z, as in Zebra TV, three, three separate words, Sunshine Z TV. Sunshine uh, does um, commentary, celebrity commentary. Um, she does some reviews. Um, I think she does Iyanla Fix My Life. She went away for a little while. She needed a moment. She took a break. Uh, but she's a good YouTuber. She's got a beautiful smile. And she seems to have a real kind spirit. And I like to see her do well. Color Me Pink. Color Me Pink. Um, does TV reviews and celebrity commentary. She's also an author and a writer. What I love her for is um, her Real Housewives reviews, things like that. She's a very, you, you got to just see it. You know what I'm saying? She, she's got a big boisterous laughter, and um, but she does power reviews. And we don't always see eye to eye on how things are going to pan out. But the girl is smart. She loves power. She break that thing down. She pick it apart. She put it up on the on the rack. Get up under that thing, and she gives uh, Courtney Kemp what for. <laughs> so y'all check her out too. I would love to see her do this video. I'd like to see how she would take on a tag video. I don't think I've ever seen her do a tag video. But anyway, these are the YouTubers that I'm tagging. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think. Put it down below. Do you have some favorites? Let your girl know. And don't be afraid to be transparent. It's okay if you a freak, okay? Freaks need love too. And I'm here to love each and every one of y'all, my librarians and my lion tamers, okay? That's what's up. Until next time, honeybees. Mwah, mwah, mwah.